What we're going to show you here is we have a demonstration of our regression analysis in the smart city infrastructure showing how we can use vibration analysis, predictive maintenance of the vibration um, in a smart infrastructure of tomorrow. So if you look at our train setup, we actually have uh, vibration sensors, which are those large gold medallions, and we have vibration motors that are ca causing simulated vibration within the structure itself. And as we run this analysis on our display here, you can see normal operating conditions. When the vibration reaches a certain threshold, what we'll do is we'll go from normal to alert to critical to danger. And it'll simulate infrastructures so that the cities of tomorrow will be able to take fast action before a major incident occurs. And you can actually look at what's happened on the smaller um, vibrations of these infrastructures to uh, get an analysis to have someone go out before it becomes a major issue. And then once it becomes a major issue, what I can do is I can actually run through there and see this. One of the things you can see here is we're actually running at about 200 frames per second in microwatts, uh, less than a milliwatt of power. So you can see right here, we're running alert. It has alert, so the vibration on those uh, pillars are getting more. And then as we crank up the motors a little higher, it'll go to critical. So this is used for preventative maintenance. You can use this for smart health as well. You can uh, use this any type of automotive industry to check engines, those types of applications and use cases. Um, the other thing too is, we are actually using this on our uh, PC shuttle uh, development kit. So developers can work with both us and Edge Impulse to build models and deploy it on real world hardware projects. You have a Intel based PC shuttle system. We also have a Raspberry Pi development system that will allow you to develop and deploy real live models that works on the Edge. Um, as you can see, I'll actually get this train to go around one time. It'll show how it's actually working. And as it goes over the bridge, we'll do some further analysis and you can crank it up to say, oh, it's alert or not, and get that going. Um, and then finally, what we're doing is we're actually showing another demonstration here. This is for preventative maintenance, any type of vibration, uh, you know, in, uh, I think you, you watched some of the uh, presentation by Zach, it talks about smart health. Whether it's vibration or um, like a COVID testing, you can actually use Akita to do COVID testing on different chemicals or liquids as well. So it's not just for vibration. And then finally, we have another demonstration that's for vision right here. And you can see on the vision application, this is what we call head pose. And what it's doing, it'll track my look and my direction to see how I'm looking at the camera. And there's two applications running on here. Actually, there's three. It's identifying where my face is. It's actually looking at the direction of it. And you can see below, it's doing my emotion or my expression of my faces. So you can see when I'm happy or sad or you know, can look, try and look angry, sad, neutral, and happy. So with the Kita, you can do various different applications for any network that you're looking at when you're looking for microwatts to milliwatts applications on the edge.